या हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम अगेन टू योर अपना गवर्नमेंट ऑफ चैनल सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू अवर जर्नी ऑफ नाइल एट मीटी एग्जाम प्रिपरेशन टू एंड ट्वेंटी टू विथ फेज टू प्रिपरेशन स्ट्रैटेजी ओके सो दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट फेज टू आई होप टिल नाउ वॉट एवर थिंग्स आई डिस्कस इन फेज वन प्रिपरेशन स्ट्रैटेजी यू फॉलो दैट एंड आई होप टू कंप्लीट द थिंग्स द सब्जेक्ट्स और चैप्टर्स ओके दैट आई मैंशन देयर सो नाउ वी विल कंटिन्यू अवर जर्नी फ्रॉम फेज टू एंड दिस इज द प्लान ऑफ फेब्रुवरी मंथ ओके and this is the eye opening video for you because i will share total number of applications for your branch whether it is ec whether it is cac okay for scientist b so you will get enough number of idea that what is the competition level okay for the year 2022 so let's start with our first competition and then we will start our preliminary strategy for phase 2 okay so as you can see first we will discuss for ec so total vacancies was for ec 7 and for 7 vacancies 2000 850 people approximately applied okay if you see category wise then for five vacancies are open 1372 one vacancy of st you can see 164 applications obc one vacancy 941 vacancies for one vacancy of obc and ews definitely there is no vacancy but still 134 people are there so definitely they will consider in general okay computer science total nine vacancies and total applications are 2650 If you can see, for general, only six vacancy was there, and for it is almost same as EC. Okay, for general count, then OBC two vacancies, and for two vacancies OBC eight fifty four. So for one vacancy OBC it is less obviously. Then EWS one. So for EWS one one hundred and thirteen people for one vacancy. Okay, and there was no vacancy for ST. So ST yes sixty people sixty one people are there for ST. So. This is the number of competition or application received for scientist B post. Okay, so that's why if you are not serious till the date, be serious because this much people are there with you who will compete with you. Okay, approximately five thousand five hundred people for only sixteen vacancies. So you can see this number five thousand five hundred for sixteen vacancies. Okay, so that's why perfect strategy and your each and every second should be in. You should put in your nilet meet exam. right so definitely for this only you are watching this video and definitely you will get all the things here so now what we will do before going to phase 2 okay let me just quickly summarize what are the subjects we already studied in phase 1 or i told you to study in phase 1 so first i will discuss for ec branch so for ec in technical i told about network then signal system and third will be your communication and in communication only analog part not digital one right then in mathematics we studied or we can say i told you to complete only probability and statistics in mathematics right about non technical portion i will come later because it is same for csc also for csc guys what i told you to complete in phase 1 so first c plus ds plus algo right this thing only in technical then in mathematics i told you to complete set theory okay then combinatorics and then last is your probability and statistics okay this three chapters in mathematics and cac cds and algo i consider this three subjects as a one only okay because there is no much uh, all the things are connected that's why so this is my style obviously these are three subjects okay so now in this phase 2 which is period is from 31st jan to 28 february definitely i will mention the next uh, lot for you but side by side you should also give proper time to revision okay these are the important things and this is the period of this now suppose if you are unable to complete a syllabus the additional 5 days you can take but this is add on okay you, your deadline is 28 february only this 5 days are add on for you suppose for, for some reason for personal family any reason okay it may extend so maximum 5 days till 5th of march okay and uh, sometimes i also take some time or delay to upload the video okay so i am considering this only in this definitely i will try to make video on march only okay no need to worry about that and your test series work is going on so hopefully in your phase 3 video our test series will be there with you okay so that your preparation will be fully dedicated okay so now you know the phase 2 period you know the uh, things summary of phase 1 so let's start with our non technical standard syllabus okay which is common for both the branches so let's come to quant first so in quant in the first phase what i told you percentage ratio hcf and lcm 
okay these are the thing you need to focus on first win and i hope that you already completed this thing because these are the basics now in phase two what you will do so you will start profit and loss profit loss and discount then you will come to simple interest then after completing of simple interest compound interest and then last average okay then last you are average that's it so this is the core strategy all the resources for technical non-technical are same which i mentioned in the phase one so no need to worry and those who didn't watch phase one so don't watch this phase two video just watch and go for phase one okay watch that try to complete those syllabus quickly and then you can align with this okay definitely you need to put more hours if you are starting preparation from now okay definitely is already late for you but still you, you can do there is no problem in that but give extra time okay that is important and side by side for non-technical, I hope you are practicing daily telegram PDF. So if not, just join our Apna Government Job Telegram channel, daily PDF you are getting of all the sections. So just practice that, right? Now reasoning. In reasoning, I told you only blood relation in the phase one. Now in phase two, you will start with your direction test. Okay, first chapter. Then after completing direction test, you will do arrangement. In arrangement, all the types, okay, all the three, two, what types are there, linear, circular, all these things you will do. And then after arrangement, you will do, you will start your, okay, I hope it is not visible for you because of my, this photo, okay. Okay, so profit loss, SI, CI, average, in quant, data, uh, decision test, arrangement, in your reasoning. And the last is your non-verbal reasoning, non-verbal reasoning, okay. All the chapters which are included in non-verbal, you need to do whether it is paper cutting, paper folding, mirror image, water image, okay. Then uh, you are counting figures, missing figures, everything. Everything which is included in non-verbal reasoning, you will definitely in RS server, you will get all the things you should do here, okay. So these are the things you will complete for your reasoning portion. Now, English. So in phase one, I told you to complete all the grammar rules come perfectly. So I hope your grammar is ready now and with grammar ready, 80% syllabus almost over. Okay. Daily words reading should be there with you always. And for that, just refer our PDF, PDF of telegram. Next is your just practice comprehension. Okay. Comprehension also there is possibility they can ask you, but still you know, we should ready by all the means because you know, the variation in nylet paper is much more. Okay than ever than any exam that's why i'm telling you uh, it is not guaranteed that they will give you this they will give you no they can give anything okay it depends on their mood that's why we will prepare from all the angles so that we can beat the competition right so comprehension you will do in english and words and next for general awareness so for general awareness last time i told you to do current affairs of jan month okay now again we will not touch those history geography and uh, all those stuff for now Okay, we will, st I, what you can do, you should do February month, that is 2022, plus side by side, December 2021. Okay, this much thing you will do perfectly with no problem. So for now, general awareness, we will skip to, or we will stick to this only, no need to worry extra. Okay, all the resources are same, I use our Telegram PDF, all the books which I recommended, just use that and definitely you can do better, right? Side by side, now, whatever syllabus you completed, okay, for non-technical, revision should be there, daily revision. And for this, you can give maximum one hour daily revision for non-technical, okay, I'm taking over non-technical, which is the common for both the branches. So just give one hour, now in this one hour, what you can do, you can read your notes, okay, suppose one day I read notes, then other day I can solve some practice problems or uh, uh, daily, you obviously daily 30 minutes, you can devote to our telegram pdf or telegram channel all pdf you can practice so like this you can do it's up to you but revision should be compulsory because with new concepts you should not forget old concepts okay or old chapter that's why revision of non-technical one hour it should be there in your routine okay so with this now we will start our technical part so first i will discuss for ec then i will go to cac so in the timestamp below, you can watch uh, those who are from CAC, you can watch that CAC time preparation strategy. So just go there and you can watch that part. EC people, stay here. We will continue from here. Okay. So now we will start our technical subject. In that, we will start with communication. And this time we will do digital communication. Okay. Which is your fourth subject. And combinedly, if I combine analog and digital, then seven to eight questions you can expect from your communication subject. Okay. 
so now what you will do in communication and what you will not let's discuss so first is random signal and noise important to understanding not for uh, your exam point of view but understanding the further concept of random variables and like this probability already be complete no need to worry here i will just uh, grab this random variables important pdf important autocorrelation power flow density all the things are important okay so here you need to study theoretical point of view also and your numerical point of view also they will test then pulse code modulation dpcm also add dm and adm here theory numerical is not there obviously theory comparison okay basic basic things you need you will study here for dm all you know practice problems are there so definitely you can solve that data modulation scheme ask fsk and psk now here about ask fsk psk all the transmitter receiver just go through that okay then your comparison should be there bandwidth calculation of each of this error probability detection all the things are there in your comparison you should do okay then match filter receivers so match filter receiver also they can ask so for that uh, just practice all the things which are given in your gate previous year that's it no need to worry they will directly copy paste okay bandwidth consideration for all the schemes you should know then for now phase 2 we will skip this part probability of error calculation for this schemes okay so just keep this part for now next basics of tdm fdm cdm and gsm and wireless communication we will skip okay like you have bluetooth wifi mimax for not uh, for now it is not required basically so we will skip so we are skipping two topics from here okay just note that and you will do basics of tdm fdm cdm gsm and everything okay and then last fundamentals of information theory and channel capacity theorem uh, just learn about channel capacity theorem okay just the theorem read the theorem apply in your problem and fundamentals of information theory your entropy mutual information like that basic basic concepts are there you just read that okay i don't think they will ask but if they ask you should able to handle these questions okay that's why so this is about your communication next subject is your digital circuits okay from which you can expect six to eight questions in your nilet exam what are the topics you need to cover boolean algebra minimization of functions and logic gates okay compulsory they will ask questions from realization then your k map sop poc any any of this question they can ask okay compulsory question you will get from this that's why do it properly then we will come to combination where we will study all the your multiple set multiple set encoder decoder and code converters okay rom prom eprom all the basic thing you should do here arithmetic circuits then sequential arithmetic means your adder subtractor like that sequential circuit then your latches and flip flop counter shift register all the things you should prepare in very much detail for the sequential circuits okay then sample and hold circuits adc and dac in adc dac also basic concept of how to find output how to find resolution how to find dac output adc output then types of adc okay and of this in uh, each type you should know very well that is conversion time and everything okay which is faster adc basic concept are there dac again types you will do binary letter and your uh, r to r okay they will do then semiconductor memories that is your ram rom again and after that you will do digital ica families here only you need to study the comparison between detail ttl ecl mos and cmos okay no need to uh, study in very much depth like how ttl works start ttl as a transistor no no need to worry just do comparison of this thing that is enough okay i don't think they will ask but if they ask then you should do properly so this is your digital electronics you need to study the next will be computer organization and architecture so basic computer organization then control unit cpu computer arithmetic 8085 you will do here input power organization memory unit and introduction to parallel processing so this must this must our syllabus you have only okay for your nilet exam and from this maximum they can ask you two questions minimum one to two question you can expect then we will start with microprocessor now see microprocessor and microcontroller are most important topics for of your exam for nilet okay so that's why just pay proper attention here just try to complete all the things and all the syllabus for number processor and controller and first we will do uh, start your processor part okay and combinedly you can expect six question from processor plus controller okay there are three things 8085 8086 and 8051 so any two they can ask okay or all the three they can ask that's why you will we will study all the things okay don't skip this topic because maximum people who will study or who are giving nilet exam they will skip microprocessor and microcontroller i want you should do okay 
that's why i am telling you to pay proper attention here so definitely we can beat the competition now here we will always in coa we study h086 now we will start with h086 architecture then your programming language then your interfacing with ram rom io addressing io map io memory map io schemes okay comparison between these three instruction execution phase execute cycle instruction timing and operation status then memory organization program memory data memory direct indirect addressing areas okay addressing modes very much important topic instruction set all the instruction set you will do arithmetic logical whatever okay then machine cycle interrupts interrupt handling single step operation port bit latches buffer post structure operation accessing extra memory timer serial interface io ports timing loss of syllabus is there for microprocessor and definitely theory questions you can expect from there and plus your programming part okay and program will be same as per as uh, they ask in your gate exam so whatever programs are there in your gate previous year just practice that okay that will be enough no need to study extra and try to complete uh, theory as much as possible okay because theory theoretical part will be there next is microcontroller so for microcontroller architecture you will do it will fine okay configuration internal block diagram program protection modes very important topic program protection mode after that you are one human and hardware and their very variants okay very important topic then you can go for memory architecture devices input output devices mechanism pla pal pld obviously we will do this in detail only okay then io interface with microcontroller very important real time control issues just skip for now okay let me take a few information about this and then in the next phase video i will just share you details embedded processing evolution issues and challenges just skip this part also for now okay so in from microcontroller we will skip these two parts and rest of the things we will do do compulsory there is no option in that right next is your mathematics so for mathematics we will do calculus and your differential equations okay and the topics which are mentioned already you are get syllabus so just practice get uh, previous year questions one and two marks definitely you can cover these things right so now here what you can do definitely you will study all these things along with that you to prepare or you to revise so a lot one hour of revision for technical section okay technical and mathematics both are included in this so one technical one section is for your non technical one hour and one section is for your technical that is one hour so two hour revision compulsory just do because by adding new things you should not forget old things that's why i am telling you okay and definitely a little bit head trick but we need to do because competition is high for less number of vacancies that's why i'm telling so just properly revision should be there and after uh, definitely test will be there so no need to worry but keep revising the things from your notes everything if you have any query any doubt definitely you can dm me on instagram okay definitely i will, I will there for help you always no need to panic or no need to worry about competition everything that number i just show to encourage you or to boost your preparation or to boost your seriousness for this exam okay as you know scientist b is very important post for us and obviously interview will be there but we will not consider that we will only consider our exam because interview marks is not in your hand okay whatever you prepare okay at which level you prepare no it is not in your hand our in our hand we have exam marks so that's why focus more on exam have query hand out just comment down below and you can dm me on instagram also okay i will meet you in the next phase video so till then you can start your journey now obviously plan is there so just start preparation now now we will discuss about cac so for cac first we will start with detail logic and coa combinedly i can say 12 to 14 questions you can expect from this topic okay for your direct exam so what do you have logic function minimization easy and compulsory question you will get from here okay realization uh, of logic case will be there for you you then design and synthesis of combination sequential every detail about combination circuit lots of things are there adder subtractor then you are full adder half adder okay then you are uh, this encoder decoder multiplexer demultiplexer lots of circuits are there and their operations so just perform uh, just uh, means study that well okay then come to sequential first go to basic sequence sequence then counter types all the counter types you should know compulsory then number representation computer arithmetic fixed and floating point okay this is also important next come to coa machine instruction addressing mode addressing mode uh, last time they asked from our mini test okay so i am happy so just study this thing in very much detail definitely in our test series all the things you will get there okay all the theory part specially you will get there no need to worry if you skip for now 
but studied in this very much detail. Then ALU data path, CPU control design, memory interface, IO interface, intra-band, DMA mode. Okay, very important topic. Then the most important topic is instruction pipelining that you will do. Cache and main memory and secondary storage. Basic and theory, theoretical things you can do and cache. Uh, just solve few numericals from cache. Okay, that you can do for CO. Okay, now next is OS. So for OS, processes thread, inter-process, communication, concurrency, synchronization, deadlock, CPU scheduling, memory management, virtual memory. File system, file system and protection and security. Now what most of the candidate do, they do not focus on file system and file system, but this is also important. Okay. Many candidates skip this part. So I want, you should do that. Okay. Because in our uh, mock also, I observe that lots of candidates skip these questions. Okay. That's why I'm telling you, see, our goal is to beat those 2500 students who applied for CAC. Okay. So to beat them, obviously they will, some parts they will not do that. We will try to do. Okay, we will try. Obviously, it is not possible to cover 100% syllabus. Okay, and it is not like that. If we complete 100% syllabus, then we will get 100% selection. Okay, it is not compulsory. But we will do our max because vacancy is less this time. That's why. That's it. Okay. Also, memory management and virtual memory. So, I actually saw, uh, saw these things. Okay, after mock test, I just analyzed that what students are skipping and what they are doing, okay, all, all the things I just analyze and I enjoy that I, I learn from this and whatever I learn, I told you, okay, so that you be means it, you will get some little idea about the mindset of all your India competitors that will compete with you, okay, and if you understand their mindset, if you understand what they are not doing, definitely we will, uh, definitely we will step ahead, right, so process, trade, inter all these things are important for OS, obviously, you, you will do, but also do these things also okay and also along with this protection security so five to six questions you can expect from operating system part next is the most important subject of your NILET exam is computer network cn okay so what you will do cs cn summary that is osi layer model each every layer okay what are the protocols are there what are the devices there all the things you will do in very much detail is a summary of your overall computer network if you go in deep, then flow enter error control techniques, routing algorithm, congestion control. Okay, here are also lots of things are there, congestion, CSMA and uh, CCMA. So TCP, UDP, sockets programming, then IP before IPv6, very important. Application layer protocol, obviously you will cover in layering. So all the things you will do here, okay, no need to skip anything. Then basic contents of hub, switches, gateway, router, all the network devices, okay. So basic information about this. Wireless technology for now you can skip. So we will skip this part. Okay, wireless technology. You will do compulsory network security. Last time also our from our mini test, they asked question from firewall. Okay. So I have I'm happy that I can help I help the candidates. Then basic concept of publicly private key cryptography, very much important. DLC in the channel. Firewall. Firewall is the most important topic. Okay. So this thing you will do from your CN part. And maximum question you can expect from this is seven to eight questions. 7 to 8 questions. Okay. And the next, that is last, is your mathematics. So, in mathematics, you will do only calculus. All the syllabus is as per gate only. No need to worry. So, just solve gate previous year questions, one or two marks, and you can cover the things. Okay. Calculus. So, with this also, you should devote time, that is one hour, for revision. And what revision? Revision of old subjects that we cover in phase one. Okay. Because this revision is very much important to gather new things we should not forget old things okay that's why just what you can do just read your notes okay one day read your notes then other day you can practice some problem not uh, many some problem okay like this you will do and once we cover old syllabus or whatever syllabus is necessary definitely tests will be there and everything will be there so whole syllabus you will do okay for now your job is to just keep revising so that that concept will stay with you for entire february month okay and side by side you will cover all those things that we will discuss in this strategy video if you face any query any doubt anything just feel free to ask me on instagram also you can comment down below okay like the video compulsory and telegram channel most important for you apna government job and your cac nilet meeting telegram channel all the things all the links you will get in the comment section that is pinned okay with this so we are with this i am signing off and i will meet you in the phase 3 video all the best for your february month okay i hope that each and every time you should devote for nilet only no other exam okay all the best.